Hi students! Welcome back again to another episode of Learning. For today's video, pag-aaralan natin ang circular permutation. Bago natin i-illustrate ang circular permutation, balikan muna natin ang linear permutation of distinct objects. Let's say, mayroon tayong i-arrange na 3 objects sa row or sa line. Ilan ang possible arrangements natin? So, mayroon tayong 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 1, 3, 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, 2, 1, and 2, 1, 3. Since mayroon tayong 3 objects and we are going to arrange them or all of them at a time, then we have 3 factorial which is equal to 6 arrangements. Iyon ay kapag nasa line siya. Ngayon, paano kung i-arrange natin siya in circular formation? Okay, so I have here illustrations of circle at naiposition ko rito ang 3 objects. So we have 1, 2, and 3. Sa circle, kailangan mayroon tayong reference point. Okay? So... Ano ang ating arrangement dito sa una? So, meron tayong 1, 2, 3 in a clockwise direction. So, 1, 2, 3, okay? Isang arrangement yon. Pero, kung magsimula tayo sa 2 using a clockwise direction, meron tayong 2, 3, 1 and we also have 3, 1, 2. May binago ba tayo dun sa unang uh, position? wala tayong binago, ibig sabihin, itong tatlong ito ay equivalent lamang sa isang arrangement. Okay? Next, paano naman kapag pinagpalit natin ang 2 at saka 3? Okay? So, meron na tayo ritong 3 at saka 2. And then, tingnan natin kung ilang arrangements tayo mayroon dito. So, we have 1, 3, 2, 3, 2, 1, and 2, 1, 3. Itong tatlong arrangements na ito ay considered as 1. Bakit naging isa lamang? Dahil dito ay wala naman tayong binago sa position. Binago lang natin kung saan tayo nagsimula. So, ibig sabihin, kung mayroon tayong 3 objects na i-arrange natin in circle formation, mayroon lamang tayong 2 arrangements. So, instead of 6 arrangements na nagmula sa linear permutation natin, mayroon na lamang tayong 2 arrangements. Yung 6 arrangements ay nakuha natin sa 3 factorial. Okay? And then, paano siya naging 2? Para maging 2 siya, i-divide natin yung 3 factorial sa 3. Dahil ang 3 factorial ay equal sa 6, dinivide natin sa 3, kaya siya naging equal sa two arrangements lamang. So, kapag ang objects ay i-arrange natin in circular formation, mas mababawasan ang number of arrangements natin or number of permutations. Ngayon, ano yung formula na gagamitin natin dito? So, yung 3 rito is the number of objects which corresponds to n. So, that is n factorial. Over, yung 3 rin dito ay number of objects which is n. Okay? So, kapag na-simplify natin itong n factorial over n, so, ang n factorial natin na equal sa n times n minus 1 factorial over n. Okay? And then, makakancel natin yung n, magkakaroon na lamang tayo ng n minus 1 factorial. So, that means the total number of circular permutations given n objects at i-arrange natin ang lahat ng objects na iyon at a time is equal to n minus 1 factorial. So, ito ang ating gagamitin na formula. Pero, iyan pa sa isko lamang na itong unang circular permutation natin ay magkaiba ang clockwise at counterclockwise niya. Anong ibig sabihin ng magkaiba yung clockwise at counterclockwise? Dahil, kapag kinuha natin yung Clockwise direction niya, 1, 2, 3. Kapag na-counter clockwise natin siya, 1, 3, 2, iba siya. Okay? Kasi nga, mayroon tayong circular permutations kung saan ang clockwise at counterclockwise directions ay magkapareho. Paano sila nagkakapareho? Ito yung special cases ng circular permutations katulad ng bracelets at saka necklace. Okay? Kasi nga, yung mga bagay na iyon ay pwede nating baligtarin or pwedeng i-flip. For example, mayroon tayo ritong uh, bracelet. Okay? Consider that this is a bracelet na mayroong tatlong different stones. Okay? So, we have first stone, second stone, at third stone. Ngayon, ito yung position niya. Nakaharap siya. Paano kapag binaligtad natin siya? 
Okay? So, kapag binaligtad natin siya, yung 3 ay mapupunta roon, yung 2 ay mapupunta rito. Ngayon, nagkaroon ba tayo ng changes ng position? Siyempre, hindi tayo nagkaroon ng changes dahil kapag binaligtad natin, still, ganun pa rin yung position ng gems natin or stones. So, that means, kapag kinuha natin ang clockwise direction niya, 1, 2, 3, at kinuha natin ang counterclockwise direction, 1, 2, 3 pa rin siya. Hindi sila nagkaiba ng position. Naiplip lang natin siya para maipakita natin na ang clockwise at counterclockwise direction niya ay pareho. Okay? So, ibig sabihin itong 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 1, 3, 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, 2, 1, at 2, 1, 3 na magkaibang arrangement dito sa circular permutation natin sa una wherein clockwise and counterclockwise are different ay magiging isa na lamang. Okay? So, di ba sa ating unang circular permutation, itong dalawang ito ay isang arrangement, isang arrangement which is equal to two different arrangements. Ngayon, Kapag clockwise at counterclockwise direction ay magkapareho katulad ng special cases ng bracelets at necklaces, ito na ngayon ay pagsasamahin natin. So, meron na lamang tayong one arrangement. So, ngayon, paano natin dadagdagan ang formula na ito? So, that means the number of circular permutations if clockwise and counterclockwise directions are the same is equal to n minus 1 factorial, i-divide lang natin siya sa 2. Okay? Katulad nitong una. So, kung may 3 objects tayo na i-arrange natin 3 at a time, if clockwise and counterclockwise directions are different, meron tayong n minus 1 factorial. Okay? Which is equal to 2. Ngayon, kapag tatlong objects i-arrange natin wherein clockwise and counterclockwise directions are the same, meron tayong n minus 1 factorial, dito ay equal to 2, i-divide natin sa 2, kaya siya naging 1. Okay? So, yung divided by 2 is constant. Tandaan nyo lang, kapag ang clockwise at counterclockwise directions are the same, magdi-divide ka lang sa 2. Okay? From the original formula. Ngayon, magtatanong yung iba, paano namin malalaman kung ang clockwise at counterclockwise direction po ay magkaiba at pareho? Depende iyan sa understanding mo sa problem. For example, mayroon kang i-arrange na tao sa circular table. Pwede mo ba silang i-flip? Siyempre, hindi mo sila pwedeng i-flip, di ba? Kaya ang gagamitin mong formula ay ito. Now, paano naman kapag mayroon kang ilalagay na gems sa ring? Okay, let's say mayroon tayong gems na ilalagay sa surface ng ring. Pwede ba siyang i-flip? Yes, pwedeng i-flip ang ring. So dito, gagamitin mo yung formula na ito. So ngayon ay may dadagdag ako dito sa formula natin. So yung una nating formula is n-1 factorial at n-1 factorial over 2. That is when n is equal to r. That means, ang bilang ng objects natin ay equal dun sa objects na i-arrange. Let's say, we are going to arrange 7 persons in a circular table. Sabihin, lahat ng taong iyon na i-arrange natin. Ngayon, paano kung n is not equal to r? Ibig sabihin, halimbawa, may 7 persons. Okay? And then, i-arrange lamang natin doon ay 3 at a time. Katulad dun sa ating previous uh, lessons on permutation of n objects taken r at a time. Meron tayo doong formula when n is equal to r and when n is not equal to r. Ganon din sa circular permutation. Meron tayong formula when n is equal to r and n is not equal to r. At mayroon pa tayong isang kailangan i-consider kung ang clockwise at counterclockwise directions ba ay different or the same. So, if n is not equal to r, ang formula natin dyan is permutation of n objects taken r at a time over r. Kapag naman the same ang both directions niya, i-divide lang natin din siya sa 2. Okay? So, ang tandaan natin, kapag pareho ang clockwise at counterclockwise, i-divide lang natin yung main formula natin sa 2. Let us now consider the following examples at alamin natin kung saang word problems ba natin sila dapat gamitin. So, number one, in how many ways can you arrange six persons on a round table? Okay, so, dahil mga tao ang pinag-uusapan natin dito, hindi natin sila pwedeng baligtarin or i-flip. That means, clockwise and counterclockwise directions are different. Kaya ang gagamitin natin dito ay quantity n-1 
factorial. Bakit ito? Dahil yung 6% na iyon ang ating i-arrange. So that means n is equal to r. Okay? So we have n minus 1 factorial is equal to 6 minus 1 factorial is equal to 5 factorial and 5 factorial is equal to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 is equal to 120. Next, number 2. In how many ways can you arrange 6 persons on a round table if there are only 4 seats available? Dahil mga tao pa rin na pinag-uusapan natin dito, hindi natin sila pwedeng i-flip. That's why uh, counterclockwise and clockwise directions are different. And aside from that, ang n natin ay not equal to r. Bakit? So, meron tayong 6 persons na i-arrange, kaso apat na seats lamang ang available. So, we are only taking 4 at a time. So, gagamitin natin ang formula na ito, permutation of n objects taken r at a time over r. Is equal to, yung npr na ito ay equal sa n factorial over n minus r factorial, may over ka pa na r. Okay? Is equal to, 6 factorial, ito ang n over 6 minus 4 factorial, ito yung 6 at saka 4 na n at r over 4 which is the value of r. Is equal to, 6 factorial over 2 factorial na i-minus lang to times 1 over 4. Nai-reciprocal na natin ang 4 dito para mas mabilis na yung process natin. Next, 6 factorial, in-expand natin siya 6 times 4 times 3 times 2 factorial over 2 factorial times 4. Ita times lang natin yung 4 dito sa 2 factorial. And then, cancel yung 2 factorial. Cancel din yung 4. Ang matitira ay 6 times 3 which is equal to 18. Next, example number 3. Hera wants to make Bracelets with 8 different beads. How many designs can she make? Dahil bracelet ang nasa problem natin, pwede natin siyang i-flip. That's why clockwise and counterclockwise directions are the same. And at the same time, ang n natin ay equal sa r dahil yung 8 different beads na iyon ang gagamitin natin. So lahat sila ay ating gagamitin. So n is equal to 8. Gagamitin din natin ang formula na ito kaso i-divide lang natin siya sa 2. Okay, so 8 minus 1 factorial over 2 is equal to 7 factorial over 2. 7 factorial is equal to 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 2. Cancel yung 2. Ang matitira ay, ay ito. I-multiply na lang natin. So the answer is 2,520. Next, for example number 4. A necklace is to be made with 5 different gems on it. If there are 7 gems to choose from, How many designs are possible? This time, ang n natin ay not equal to r. Bakit? Dahil meron tayong 7 gems na pagpipilian, kaso 5 gems lang ang ilalagay natin dun sa necklace. At dahil necklace iyan, the clockwise and counterclockwise directions are the same. So ang gagamitin natin na formula ay permutation of n objects taken r at a time over 2r. So ito ay dinagdagan lang natin ng 2 sa denominator. So, we have 7 factorial over 7 minus 5 factorial over 2 times 5. Ito yung R natin. Okay? Is equal to 7 factorial over 2 factorial. Ito yung 7 minus 5. Inireciprocal natin itong 2 times 5. So, 1 over 2 times 5. Hindi ko siya na i-multiply kasi magka-cancel din naman tayo mamaya. So, 7 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 factorial. This is the equivalent of 2 factorial over 2 factorial times 2 times 5. And then, cancel ang 2 factorial, cancel ang 5, cancel yung 4, so matitira dito ng 2. And then, i-multiply natin yung natira. We have 7 times 2 is 14, times 3 is equal to 